Now, one thing my closest friends know about me is I love trains. Now, it doesn't matter if it's on a monorail or if it's on a regular train track or if it's a diesel or a steam train, even a trolley. If it's riding a rail or a set of rails, I like it. Now, one thing I want to share with you today is what's called a teeny track train. It's actually made by IDL Motors, and it's advertised as the world's smallest train. Now, if you do a little digging, you can actually find smaller trains, but this actually may be the world's smallest sold on the market to any consumer train. There's a lot of hobbyists that have made smaller, but uh, if you just want a manufactured train that is extremely small, I think teeny track has everybody beat, at least for now. Now I think the introduction has taken long enough and it's time to actually move into the box and take a look at this train. And as you can see, there's not much to it. The track is printed on a PCB board. Now the company does sell individual track pieces that you can put together and make a track of any size and shape that you would like. This particular set just came with a PCB board with the track printed on top. Now that you can see there's no rails, it's pretty smooth and that's because it's a magnetic train. It works with magnets that are on the bottom of each of the car and then it is magnetic magnetically propelled around the track. It's actually pretty cool. If we take a look at the back side of the PCB, you can see there is some magic going on. There's some type of uh, chip sets and circuitry um, and some very tiny surface mount chips as well. And um, so there's obviously some switching going on that causes this train to propel. Pretty neat device and very cool indeed. There's also models that have uh, lights in the center. This does not, and you can see it is powered by a regular wall wart, but it can also be powered by a set of batteries if you have that option. The train itself is extremely small. I'm gonna sit it on top of a quarter so you can compare how big this train is. It is, yes, that small. It's actually very detailed. Uh, the plastic is very nicely done, and if you zoom close enough, you can actually see the manufacturer of the train on the side. The links are not there. There is no links, they're just kind of rounded nubs on the back and the front, and you'll see how this works when we turn it on and fire it up. Now to start the train, it's pretty simple. There's no switch on the track to turn it on or off. When it's plugged in, it's pretty much on. You just have to set the train on the track and it will take off on its own. Like that. Now I said there were no couplers or connectors and that's because you really don't need them. If you can get the car started right behind it, it'll just kind of keep up with it. And we'll put another train car on the track behind it. And then I have one more that came with this, so it'll give us four cars going around the track all at once. The sound you hear is actually the train cars sliding across the PCB printed board. I kind of like how it sounds. I think it's just kind of cool. I'll put a link down below to the manufacturer that makes this train. So if you're interested, you can take a look at it. Uh, it's actually made by IDL and this box says Teeny Tracks. I think the company actually is Teeny Train, but I'll put more information down below. I normally do more of a do-it-yourself type video. So take a look at some of my videos. You might find something that, hey, you might be entertained by.